Good morning, Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today we are going to be working with window cling. So we are going to use Cricut window cling. See that? Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're gonna be using some, some of their window cling products. And I believe that you can get window clings in different colors. I just have white. Um, and it doesn't matter for the way that I'm using it today. Um, so we're going to use this window cling along with some vinyl, but we'll get to all of that later. Right now, of course, I want you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that when a new video comes out, you are the first to know about it. So once you do those things, and you can also check out the affiliate links below, if you see anything here that you like or want to purchase, those links help my channel, they help me, um, but they also help you get the products that you need to do the product yourself. So now that we've said all of that, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is of course go into design space and add in the images that you would like. As you can see, I have three different shaped bunnies here. I had already hit make it, um, and now I've hit continue so that I could now select vinyl. So um, I selected, of course, the vinyl, and after I've selected the vinyl, um, I hit the fast mode. Um, one thing I did do on one of the mats or the previous screen was get all of the bunnies on the same mat. So then, of course, it sent it to my printer. And after it sent it to the printer, the next thing that I had to do, of course, was um, weed the bunnies. So as you can see, I'm going through that weeding process right now. I did three bunnies. Um, I ended up doing six bunnies and some carrots, but... Um, you don't need to see all of that. Um, so then after I did that, the next thing I had to do was um, cut out the window cling because the window cling is basically going to be the backing for that vinyl. So as you can see here, I'm just putting the vinyl onto the mat so that I can then cut those three bunnies out. Same size, same everything. Um, I think if I had to do it and had some clear, I would might, I might would make the bunnies a little bit smaller so that I could have that edge all the way around. But this, um, worked perfectly fine because the whole back of the bunny was the window clean. You can also just leave the white if that's what you prefer and just have the white bunnies on the window. So you didn't even have to do the vinyl step itself. So I'm going to let the machine cut those out and then we will now show you, as you can see, those white pieces are the cut out pieces of um, window cling. So I had the white carrot there to show you and I also had the white bunny. So just something to note here because this was actually my second um, bunny that I was trying to do this with my first one, the back window clean was puckered terribly, um, just because I took the whole piece of vinyl off and tried to stick it on and it was sticking to everything. So that was a little bit of a nightmare, but as you can see, um, using my, um, thinking, <laughs> uh, and, decided to just do a piece of the money at a time. That's why you see me just slowly peeling back that vinyl so that I could adhere it to the window cling. This seemed to work much better. I did. I had less bubbling in the back. Um, and like I said, I just peeled away slowly until um, all of the pieces met. I will say that near the legs and near the ears, um, they did not meet as well as I would have liked. Um, as you can see around the edges, there is a little bit of white showing. So I did take a razor blade and then some scissors just to trim that up a little bit so that it would be neat and it wouldn't have all of the, but you can see really cute. There's the window cling on the back and then there's your cute little vinyl on the front. So did the same thing with the carrot. I'm not going to show you this whole process, but just wanted you to see one, the carrot at the top 
of the page is all orange. So that was two pieces of vinyl. I cut um, an orange carrot and I cut a green carrot and then cut the top of the green carrot off so that I could have that green stem. Um, and from here, I, I'm just doing exactly what I did with the bunny. I'm starting at a small space and I'm going to work my way up to the top of that carrot head. I will say if I had to do this again, I would have cut the cling in half um, at the top of that stem or at the bottom of the stem and the top of the carrot itself. Um, just because it would have been a little bit easier. It gave me a hard time once I got to that stem and it was a little off. So it just would have been easier if I would have cut the cling in two pieces. But as you can see, there are the clings. They're wonderful. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell. See you all the next time.